Welcome back to AdMyForever.com and uh, hello everybody. Today we are talking about the story about a friend that you can connect from the main storyboard that you, you can know uh, this is the first storyboard that you create that uh, that that it generate the first time when you create a single view occupation or the first create a new project in Xcode and uh, here today I um, want to explain you about how to link from the main storyboard to other storyboard that it is a new feature in Xcode that can help you to implement or you control the separate by storyboard between uh, the, board, the main storyboard to the second storyboard and also you can link to the third storyboard also okay then watch time and go ahead to get things done and know about the new feature in Xcode 7 together and the first thing you need to do is this is the, the sync of your application that I, I create the first time and this is a server of file that Xcode generate when you create a new project and okay now we go into main storyboard and as you can see it will generate a, a video controller that have a video controller but right now uh, I assume in main storyboard have a lot of view controller that when I try to open to view main storyboard one scan it will slowly loading I assume I have 100 or 200 view controller in main storyboard so when you try to open the main dot storyboard, it will loading. It take a time loading a long time. So you worried about it. So in Xcode event, Apple create a new feature that that maybe somebody don't know yet, and maybe somebody know already. But today I just explain you more about the uh, story about it okay it, this is the, the main storyboard then I want to link to the second storyboard by I want to create a editor oh sorry I want to create a new file and user interface and you can click storyboard and I want to rename it to storyboard like that okay as you can see storyboard or storyboard and this is the new storyboard that you create new for your purpose like uh, this storyboard just only for the, the the home screen or the your process like um, video playing or uh, the downloading yeah up to you and here the storyboard we can have any scene so you can select that and you can go to this as you can see no scene so you can drag the view controller inside the storyboard, the new storyboard, and as you can see, like that. But I need to create a new file for this view controller class. You know, I just want to put the scan view controller like this. UI key scan load. Okay, now I'll go back 
to set this router lab with my new class train controller. This is as kind of controller here. Okay, now I want to explain you how to link between the mystery bar to the store bar and street bar. But now I want to change the color to separate the when they when they press TMG controller. Okay, now you can go back. Okay, the first thing you need to do, you need to identify your your controller here by set sorry for ID. You can set scan BC uh, ID. Okay, now you go to main story board and then just uh, make some hold button. Click and link it to the new story board in the uh, new controller in the new story board. I want to change the color to make it different from before. By okay, it is okay now. What we need to do? How to link reference from the main story bot, the main story bot to the story bot, dark story bot. Okay. What we need to do is go to the object library. And as you can see, story bot reference that provide a placeholder for view controller in a external story bot. As you can see, this is the external story bot. Because uh, this is the default story bot that that you run the operation the first time, it will go to the main story bot, and the new story bot that you create is called the external story bot. Okay, now you can drag this to anywhere you want. But for me, I want to drag on the top of the view controller. Okay, now you have a story bot again. But what we need to do next, we need to do is select this, go to inspect attribute inspector, and as you can see, this is the property that you can change the storyboard to the storyboard. Here, this is the name storyboard. That means you need to link this reference to the the storyboard or storyboard here. And one more thing is refer ID, reference ID. What reference ID mean? It means when you action, when you make action or even order something to this story about a friend, it will link link to the story about. So um, actually in your new story bot, not only one MG controller, but have, for example, 10 view controller. So when you link the event to the story bot reference, it, it doesn't know what, which one of the view controller that start up, that, that, that initial. Okay. Um, okay. Here, and you can put the, the, the storyboard ID that you need to initial your controller by yeah here copy this it means you need to initial with this view uh, controller I go in this and click this and paste in this place okay now this storyboard plan link to the story point dot story point okay now i just want to drag action to this to so now we have a segue and press into the new view controller and the story point are still open. okay let's be a man and see the result
can be a little bit because uh, this is the first time that I've, I've been running the, this new application. And this, this story about Dragon is a very useful tool that every developer probably use it to make the application working fast with the new design. Okay, maybe I'm a bit constrained. So it doesn't so anything. Okay, now it's loading. Now I just press the button. Okay, as you can see, this is the new view controller and the story mode and the new story mode that uh, we create at the moment. Okay, as you can see, like that. Okay, hope you understand what I what I mean and what is plan about the uh, storyboard FM and if you have any question you can uh, comment below this video or you can go to my website or my Facebook page and also Twitter page to ask me about this question but I recommend you to ask me below this video also because I'm very curious to see your answer and I try to reply as kind as possible and make sure you subscribe my channel for more for more tutorial and more video on new video new feature about uh, mobile development and the technology web development also okay good luck don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you